details, details, right? Yeah, exactly. There we go. Should be working now. No? Not yet. Let me just redo the, uh, I'm gonna just redo the tunnel. settings. And... And oh. I just crashed. Wow. This hasn't happened in a while. I think I know what I did to do it. It was my oh. fault. Okay. Well, as long as it's a known thing, then that's not so bad, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, we are online. Just needed to clean up the uh, the peer-to-peer uh, -peer tunnel, and now we have a link between the two uh, sites. And a block of steel. Done. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Rock on. Okay. Okay, so... Six blocks of steel from six blocks of iron. I mean, I guess I could do this one at a time, but where's, again, where's the fun in that, right? What did I just do with that iron block? Did I? There it is. That was weird. Do some items spend some time in limbo? before they actually enter the system? Could not answer that question. Because it seems like sometimes it takes a few min a few moments for an item to appear. That could be uh, AE trying to determine what's going on. That could be too, yeah. And gunpowder. One, two, three, four, five, six. And encode. So six iron blocks, six redstone, six sand, and six gunpowder will make six blocks of steel. <sighs> All right, and then we need a processing recipe or a crafting recipe. Six blocks of steel decomposed. Give me my crafting recipe for that. Oh, we have a glowstone shortage. Yeah, this, we've got some this can be problems with shortly. nether materials. Yeah, we can we can fix it pretty fast. We just have to do it. Well, no, I've got the materials up here. They're just not on the AE system yet. For for which? Glowstone. Oh. Oh, okay. For making glowstone? Or... No, I've got like 20 glowstone. Ah. Glowstone. Not not the dust, the glowstone itself here. Let me put it in the okay. ME network and some glowstone dust as well. Alright, yeah, no big deal. Let's see. Um... Whoa. Yeah, good old Silk Touch pickaxe works really well on glowstone. Ah, uh, that it does. It does indeed. All right, we're going to teach this one that... All right, so shiny... So shiny ore, how much, um... How much will we get in... How many ingots will we get out of the thing in the, uh... In the high oven? Yeah. Is it, yeah, high oven is a 3 to 1 ratio. Alright, so 3 shiny ore will produce 3 shiny ingots. 1 shiny ore will produce 3 shiny ingots in the high oven? That is correct. Okay, got that one programmed too. We'll need an interface. Also, if you do ferrous ore with the cinnabar, 
in a um, um, something, it will make three uh, ferrous ingots and one shiny ore. Oh yes, yes, that's in the um, what's it called? That's a that's a thermal machine. Induction smelter. Okay, got those two. All right, now and I got the interface. Now I just need conduit, and we also will need the uh, high oven parts. Correct. Because we, we don't have any uh, high oven parts on hand right now, do we? Oh, that's so... Jeez, uh, I didn't want to hear that. It's scorched, right? It is scorched, which is going to require... <laughs> Alright, well, uh, well, since I... No, here, let me, if, if there's not any spare kicking around, I'll uh, figure out how to make it and well, take care of it. Yeah, if there's not any kicking around. and I've got some clay here, so that's at least a start, but yeah, this is, can just be a pain. Yep, yeah, that's okay. Um, we need the scorched. So we need a scorched. It's a scorched duct, right? Yes. That's, that's what we need. So we need. And how many? How many of them do we need? We need three. Three more. One for each different uh, resource. Okay. Um, we can't reuse the ones that are some of the ones that are already on there. No, because they're already dedicated using mm. different resources. Yes, right, so we need three, six times three is 18. So we need 18 scorched bricks. Scorched bricks are normal pour bricks. Pour one, one brick, uh, pour one cobblestone worth of molten cobblestone over mm -hmm. one normal brick. Okay, well, I've got a casting table right here. All I need is the table. I can do it, I can do it at this end. That works. And I might even yeah, have the bricks. The only problem is this will involve breaking the high oven, which will reset a lot of stuff and may cause an explosion of stuff. All right. Well, can we... Well, before we break it, then, we'll have to make sure we pull everything out that we can physically pull out. Disconnect. The problem is it's designed to auto-feed the blocks of charcoal. Well, then we, dis it's, we disable the auto-feed first. <laughs> oh, good lord. It's got... It's got stacks in there. Oh boy, this is gonna I, be fun. I, I, I'll, I can get it. Don't worry, you don't have to do everything. You work on your farm project there. I'll, I'll take care of this crazy plan here. Okay. Well, I have disconnected the auto feed anyways for now. Although it's okay. still got like nine stacks of charcoal blocks, which is going to last it forever. All right. I just. All right. I got some cobble melting here. Now I just need the brick. Do we have any bricks in here? Brick. 14 of them, and I need, said I needed 16, right? So I need to smelt up two more clay balls. 18, actually. Okay, four more clay balls. Well, that shouldn't take too long to do. This won't be too bad. Ah, the, I just have one more problem with setting mm -hmm. everything up. Yeah? I'm already using item conduit. To, mm -hmm. for Ender I.O. to be able to move this stuff into said barrels. Um, and buses do not like going on the um, ME conduits. Okay. Um, what about if you were to... Um, have now, a, the... I've, got, I've got an idea. i got an idea. Actually, I have an idea as well. We can completely redesign the, the basement. We no longer actually need to physically reach these barrels once we get it set up on the ME interface. So I can just completely rearrange the entire area to be able to get it set up. True, but it's still fun to be able to... It's, it's kind of fun. One of the reasons to use barrels is the fun of being able to walk through a room full of barrels. Um... Just to see what's there, right? Valid. I have a thought. Um, you're going to be rearranging the room anyways, right? 
So why not have a row in between each barrel? Run the uh, ender, and rather than having them all bulk together like that, just put one put put a gap in between them, either vertically or horizontally. Actually, and then run run your conduits through one line and run your uh, ME network behind on uh, along another line. Actually, that gives me an idea because what I can do is run a row of. That might actually almost work. Oh, and what I can... Oh, that's interesting. I could probably paint the facades to look like barrels, empty barrels. Mm -hmm. So it, it looks like just a row of empty barrels between the rows of barrels. There you go. That sounds like it would be cool. And I can also probably... I wonder how far I could push up this wall. You could also go down a little further. Okay, this wall goes. Okay, I could I can push this wall up as far as I need to. What I'm gonna be doing is pushing the wall up to seven, up, and that way we can do them vertically instead of having to do them horizontally. Oh, that'll that, look cool. Yeah, that'll that'll look really cool because then you you just shunk and then you're, there's just like rows and rows of barrels. Cool. Okay, that is going to be a massive project that is best done <laughs> AFK. Yep. So that uh, would be very tricky. Doing it while you're not on the computer it would be. Yeah. I'm well, assuming you mean uh, off recording. A, uh, off off camera. Yeah, that's that's one of those <laughs> that's one of those massively grindy off camera projects to do uh, yes. because there's it is just going to be nothing more than mindless grinding and and grinding and fiddling and yeah all right well if all goes according to plan in just a moment here i will have the bricks there we are 18 bricks well i'm gonna log off i think okay so have fun all right we probably won't be going too much longer here. I don't know if we're going to get this done tonight, but we're going to at least do the horrible thing that Sneaky is fearing and uh, <laughs> pull the plug on the high oven. Okay, so... All right, well, have fun. Thank you. All right, so you've broken the uh, input line for... This the is charcoal. the charcoal. Okay. Now, what was in here already? 64, or is there more charcoal in here? Well, if you check the scorched duct block over here on this side and right-click it, you will see one, two, three, four, five, six, oh. it, it, like nine oh. blocks. Oh, that's not so bad. And we have an ME network conveniently placed right here, so... Oh, you got the rest of it? No. There it is. Oh, hold on. Was there still more coming in there? I thought I saw more just appear in there. Nope. That was just a glitch. And then you've gotten the stuff out of the main fuel area. Okay. So that takes care of that. There shouldn't be anything left in there now, right? Right, so here's what we've got so far on this ME interface. What we've got over on one side of the of the controller is where the ores come in, mm -hmm. and the one on the other side is where the outputs go out. Okay. So what we're going to be doing here, and this, this outputs thing is specifically the slag output. So what mm -hmm. we're going to need to do, you see these three on the bottom, we're probably going to where we're going to have to put these other three. Yep. Okay, let's let's do it then. And they are side sensitive, so you're gonna have to sneak and and hit the block behind it and go forward. So like this. Exactly. All right. So we need one so, for flux. Here's here's what we're going to need to do. If you look mm -hmm. at the high oven. You'll notice that one of them looks kind of like a, a, a really bad hair day face. Yep. One of them looks like a play button, and one of them looks like wavy lines. 
Yeah, those are the three different... Uh... Those are going to be the three different ducts. Yep. All okay. Right. Let's We're going to need uh, a few fuel... filters mm. to make sure the appropriate yep. items go in the appropriate slots. Already got everything sort of... Already partly organized on this, so no worries on that. I got this figured. <laughs> I've already been... I've been thinking about this one for a while, actually. How this build was going to work. Two. We'll just do whitelisting, I think, will be the best bet. Yeah, just whitelist each material into each thing. Oh, of course we need more paper. Also, I believe that there's also a high oven recipe for nether quartz. To make it? Or yeah, to process it? Yeah, it? it requires uh, essence berries, though. Essence berries? We should be able to do that. I think we have a few. I think I have a few essence berry bushes here. Yeah, check the book. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that in a minute. I'm going to get this. Uh... All right, there's four of those. Okay. So we're going to need three ender IO. All of you on input. Oh, could you um, reconnect the uh, input, uh, fuel input? Done. Thank you, thank you. All right, so which symbol is which? That's probably in the book, isn't it? That is in the book, yes. All right. Sand. Just get rid of the stuff I don't need for this. Redstone. And um, gunpowder. Okay. In the book. So oxidizers, oh, it's using, oh, never mind, I've got it already. Oxidizers, reducers, and purifiers. The oxidizer is using the standard, uh, he's actually using the international symbol. Yes, he is, actually. Mm -hmm. For an oxidizing, I should have I should have known that. I, I'm kind of embarrassed considering the fact I'm on health and safety at work. <laughs> I should have known that. All right, so that's the oxidizer. The little line thing is the reducer, and that is the... Uh, Redstone. No, wait, was it the red? Yeah. Come on, it like it is so good to work with somebody who actually knows what they're doing. <laughs> I forgot you are also an engineer. Yeah, I do a lot of things. But, yeah. I know it's sometimes easy to forget. I, I, I have to be really careful about that at work. Um, I work a lot with the uh, operations crew. So the guys who are outside doing, you know, moving boxes and uh, digging holes and operating equipment and stuff, and I'm their tech. I, I help them with technical support, and it's really, really easy for people who are in IT to get into the trap of thinking that just because they don't work with that kind of equipment all day, that they're not smart people. They're 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 very smart people. They're just not skilled in the area that in the areas that I work with all the time. Right. It, so, it's not their area of expertise. That's why precisely. they have you there. Yeah. And and exactly. I, I certainly empathize with that. I've mm -hmm. done tech support lots myself. All right. And so we need a chest as an interface point. All right. There we go. Extract, always on. All right. So the catch here is that now the finished products will have to come... The non-slag products have to come back up into this interface to make the applied energistic system happy. Um, we can do that indirectly. Yep. In fact, there's a really easy way to do that. We just have to reroute. I sh I, there well, should be no, there's an iron chest up here that we can put the, um, that we can hook back up to the interface. Um, and actually, don't... excuse me, S -s 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 this line down. right here, this, this yeah. line right here, we can mm -hmm. wrap this line right here back around. In fact, we should probably send it around. In fact, we should probably, yeah, just, just decommission that iron chest and put the slag into the system too. That will work as well. Yeah, so just run that straight back into there. All right, so now we just need to... Now, ores are now going to be coming in from the... Uh, actually going to be coming in from Ender.io as well now, aren't they? 
they're not going to be coming in from that box upstairs, are they? No, they're so not they... going to be going to the box upstairs anymore. So we just need to connect the uh, this right here, and this one will be blacklisting everything that we just whitelisted. Gunpowder, sand, redstone are not allowed in there. Inserting on green. Okay. So if this has been done right, if all is well with the world here, I should be able to say... Let's, let's find out. Watch the system and tell me if this does what I think it's going to do. Oh. Haha. <laughs> Epic moment of... Oops. Um, I think I gave you the smaller cables. Oh, wait. We've got the system here now. I don't even need to worry about here that. There you go. Oh, okay. Thank you. I was washing off the yellow paint. Ah. Uh, three. Four. Now, as a warning, this system produces mm -hmm. blocks, not ingots. So I know, we're going to need to have the system set up for that. Already done. There's a crafting recipe in either direction already in place. In the uh, main system. So there's a there's a iron ingot to blocks and a uh, iron and a steel block to ingot uh, recipe in the crafting si in the uh, system. Not just steel. This is going to produce blocks of shiny, blocks of ferrous, blocks of everything that mm. it produces. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's a good point. I haven't put those ones in yet, so. All right, there we go. That should... Whoops. There we go, we do that. All right. I think it's online, so now I should be able to do... I'm just going to throw the shiny uh, recipe in there as well. So hold on, that means it's... No, wait, no, it's going to produce shiny ingots. It's the system downstairs is the is shiny ore goes to the uh, ingot producer. Oh, right, it just produces blocks of the other materials. Yeah, it... I don't know, did Ferris have a dedicated one, or did was Ferris going to the overflow as well? I think Ferris was going to the ingot caster as well. Okay, so... We'll double check that before we program that one, but... All right, so we should be able to say, hey system, produce me a block of steel. And it's going to send in... Oh, we've got everything except the... Oh no, the... did the oxidizer disappear already or what happened? Did it work? What happened? I don't think it worked. Just check the system and see what came out. Did we get steel out the other end, or did it did it go goofy on us? I couldn't catch it in time. Yeah, I don't think the um, gunpowder worked. That is the right slot, right? Did it just not come in fast enough? Is there any way to slow down the movement of things through an Ender I.O. Uh, conduit? Because I think what happened is we just got... I think we just got a bunch of iron blocks. Yeah. Yeah, it, it just produced iron blocks. It didn't produce any steel blocks. So it processed before the uh, oxidizer could get into the system. So, so what need... you actually need to do is slow down the iron block input. Yes, that's correct. An yeah, item is the... duct with a regular um, servo will go slower than the item conduit will. So you could actually use, um, going off the top of the chest, have a, um, a, a, a just a maybe um... a hardened or a regular servo on there, whitelisted to pull the iron blocks into the scorched duct, and that way you avoid issues. 
Perfect. Do we have any of the uh, ducts, uh, item ducts? On? Do you have any of those on hand right now? As a matter of fact, now that we're pulling this line here, absolutely. Okay, I've got the servo in place. It just needs to be programmed for iron blocks. One iron block. Okay, just pop them on that, yeah, the chest. That goes there, and it gets programmed for that. Redstone ignored. Okay, that should do it. Should we try it again? Once more with healing. Once more with steel. All right, everything's in place. We're just waiting on the uh, iron blocks, which are not being extracted by the uh, now whitelisted. Actually, no, we do want to do it with the blacklist, don't we? Uh, four of them went over. There's a six of them. Yeah. Okay, you only needed three redstone and three gunpowder per six blocks. Okay, that's good. I'll, I'll adjust the recipe appropriately, and I'm actually going to change this to blacklist the uh, redstone, gunpowder, and um, sand. Because we're going to want to be able to send shiny stuff in there as well, right? Ah, yes, we will. So if we do it as a, a blacklist on... Whoops. Um, what just happened there? Okay, game, what are you doing? Losing your mind, apparently. Okay. I think you wound up with my crystal bow. I my did. Inventory went, my inventory go. went a little wacky on me. Everything suddenly started moving around for no apparent reason. All right, so this recipe we need. All right, what was the um the terminal type we need to actually change these recipes is a uh, pattern terminal. And why teleport back to home when you can just make one right here? Exactly. But yeah, what you're going to be looking at here is six blocks of iron, mm -hmm. six of uh, sand, mm. and three of each redstone and uh, gunpowder to be able mm -hmm. to produce six blocks of steel. And that's how you're going to have to teach it, too, because otherwise mm. it's, it's not going to work for you. All right. So it's, yeah, because otherwise it's going to start overflowing, right? Exactly. All right, so reprogram it so it needs half as much gunpowder and half as much uh, redstone. Okay, re-encoded. And because you can always use more steel... Funny enough, we're going to have enough steel in here, we're not going to be able to have to bother with this recipe for ages, right? Probably not. Ah, uh, we'll just have to find something to do with it. I'm sure we could always upgrade the uh, um, mechanism system or something. Yeah, that'll require steel. Also, we could build a, um, a steel beacon base. Mm, yeah, that's that would work too. Okay, everything is on its way. And here come the last, come on, last two blocks. There they are. And that should be... You may actually have to use a hardened servo to, to move those over just so that you can make all six of them show up at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, that's the one that... Pardon, servo. There we are. Yeah, because that's the one that allows us to specify. Hmm, hold on. It's blacklisting. Hmm. How is that going to work? Put in a hardened servo. Let's 
let's look at his options. So... So if I... So if I set this to 6, it will move a minimum of 6? No. No, that's not how that's going to work, is it? Something that will only allow something to manu maneuver... Hang on, I'll show you in here in just a second. Let mm -hmm. me get this finished here. Okay. Yeah, as it is, I think we wound up with five, not uh, six. Um... Well, maybe we did. Well, it says six. Increase stack size to, to six, so it yeah, should I just be doing all six that. at a time. But is that a minimum or a maximum? So is that the minimum it's allowed to move or the maximum it can move? The maximum. So so if this if unless the uh, iron all arrives at the same time, it's still going to run into the same problem. There should be enough of a delay for all six iron to show up simultaneously, unless the ME interface is the choke point, uh, in which case you can put a card in the ME interface to increase the speed. Um. Yeah, which card? It's the acceleration card, right? I believe so. Should have some of those in the system, yep. Let's see if that will... I don't know that any interfaces will take acceleration cards, actually. Hmm. But it should have a... I do need to give it a crafting card, though, because it needs to be able to request the... Uh... Oh, yeah, it needs to request the uh, blocks when, you're, yeah. when you've got a bunch of ingots. Yep. So that's that. Well, yeah. it works. It works. I, and I and that reminds works. me of the fix that we had to do off camera that I don't think we mentioned last episodes was uh, mm -hmm. with our MAC, our, our, our oh, molecular yes. assembly chamber. We, we had to go in and, and make a correction because I done goofed. Yeah, well, it's just we put. I, I think I did mention it uh, in the episode I recorded without you, but yeah, we put crafting cards in it, right? That's what you were thinking. Yeah, because uh, I forgot that they don't accept. They, they don't do subcombines without it. Here, I'm just looking for the uh, Ferris recipe here. Pig iron, nether quartz. Yes, yeah, so it requires yes, coal, a uh, gunpowder, essence berries, and soul sand. Essence Berry Farm would be pretty easy to set up. That would be nice to have Nether Quartz on uh, auto. Or an alternate way to make it. What else can it make? There's a couple of other things it can make. Um, scorched Bricks, obviously. Uh, pig Iron. Mm. Not entirely sure what that's used for, but... I'm um, not sure either, except that it is a material that is apparently used to make tools from Tinker's Construct with, and um, couldn't be carrying less yeah I don't see any other recipes for it right here those are the only ones I see I think it I think it gives you a random chance to produce something like a, a bacon or something whenever you mine a block or use it to kill something or something like that just looking at the molten ferrous or ferrous let's see ferrous ore can be smelted Alloy smelter, induction. It does not have a Tinker's uh, recipe. There's not actually a uh, molten ferrous uh, ore here. Actually, hold on. No, I need to go. No, wait. Oh, sorry. Got that backwards. There we are. Um, okay, yeah, you can melt ferrous ore in the uh, smeltery, and you'll get the molten nickel out of it. But it doesn't say what the... Okay, so the pulverizer gives you a chance at shiny metal dust, 10%. The induction mm -hmm. smelter gives you a 100% chance of a shiny ingot if you do it with cinnabar. So that's probably the way we want to do it. Well, if you will notice the redstone ore, we've got um, just over half a stack of this stuff. Now, mm -hmm. here's the other thing we can do with that. Mm -hmm. um, we can also set up a pulverizer. There are some augments that can go in the pulverizer to increase the odds of the secondary output. Well, I th yeah, I think the odds... 
the odds, okay, the pulverizer, yeah, it's at 10%. Um, the, which isn't bad, I guess, but the, uh, and yeah, that would uh, mean not, yeah, it's hard, it's, we'll have to think on it. We'll have to think on it, because I think that's going to be a job for the next episode. Yeah, yeah, it starts yeah. to look like, but uh, basically <laughs> what you're looking at is the secondary sieve, the stabilized frame, and the gyro servo feedback. Yeah, I don't know that it's urgent. I'm just looking. We're sitting on 27 shiny ingots right now. I don't know that we're going to need a lot more tesseracts in the near future, so... We we can probably hold off think, hold off sorting that out for a few days. Valid concern. Uh, valid, valid point. Yeah, so, I, yeah. I don't think... But, but definitely something to keep in the back of the mind. I mean, certainly let's not smelt up our ferrous ore unless we absolutely have to. We'll hang on to that, because that's a pretty rare uh, material. Yeah, we've only got we got 14 of the ore. we got a lot of pulverized of the metal already smelted up, so there's no reason to... The ore recipe has been disabled in the system. Okay, well... Um, in that case, we've got our quantum leak chamber going. We we've got things set up, the groundwork set up. We've got our high oven set up for the, the shiny ore and the steel production. Indeed. Um, I'd say we've gotten some stuff accomplished here. Yeah, and we got our base, hopefully. That's the one thing we'll have to monitor is what happens with our base while we are uh, offline and see what happens with the power on that uh, reactor. Oh, that reminds me. There's still a couple of stacks of that uh, Yalorium ore that I can throw in the system and uh, get taken care of. Okay. Well, we'll take care of that and see you all in the next episode. Take it easy. Bye, bye for now.